How the polar bear became. When the animals had been on Earth for some time, they grew tired of admiring the trees, the flowers, and the sun. They began to admire each other. Every animal was eager to be admired, and spent a part of each day making itself look more beautiful. Soon they began to hold beauty contests. Sometimes Tiger won the prize, sometimes Eagle, and sometimes Ladybird. Every animal tried hard. One animal in particular won the prize almost every time. This was Polar Bear. Polar Bear was white, not quite snowy white, but much whiter than any of the other creatures. Everyone admired her. In secret, too, everyone was envious of her. But however much they wished that she was not quite so beautiful, they could not help giving her the prize. Polar Bear, they said, with your white fur, you are almost too beautiful. All this went to Polar Bear's head. In fact, she became vain. She was always washing and polishing her fur, trying to make it still whiter. After a while, she was winning the prize every time. The only times any other creature got a chance to win was when it rained. On those days, Polar Bear would say, "I shall not go out in the wet. The other creatures will be muddy, and my white fur may get splashed." Then, perhaps, Frog or Duck. Would win for a change. She had a crowd of young admirers who were always hanging around her cave. They were mainly seals, all very giddy. Whenever she came out, they made a loud shrieking roar. Oh, how beautiful she is! <laughs> Before long, her white fur was more important to Polar Bear than anything. Whenever a single speck of dust landed on the tip of one hair of it, she was furious. How can I be expected to keep beautiful in this country? She cried. Then, none of you have ever seen me at my best because of the dirt here. I am really much whiter than any of you have ever seen me. I think I shall have to go into another country, a country where there is none of this dust. Which country would be best? She used to talk in this way because then the seals would cry. Oh, please don't leave us! <laughs> please don't take your beauty away from us. We will do anything for you. And she loved to hear this. Soon, animals were coming from all over the world to look at her. They stared and stared as Polar Bear stretched out on her rock in the sun. Then they went off home and tried to make themselves look like her. But it was no use. They were all the wrong color. They were black or brown or yellow or ginger or fawn or speckled, but not one of them was white. Soon, most of them gave up trying to look beautiful, but they still came every day to gaze enviously at Polar Bear. Some brought picnics. They sat in a vast crowd among the trees in front of her cave. Just look at her," said Mother Hippo to her children. "Now see that you grow up like that." But nothing pleased Polar Bear. The dust these crowds raise, she sighed. Why can't I ever get away from them? If only there were some spotless, shining country, all for me. Now, pretty well, all the creatures were tired of her being so much more admired than they were. But one creature more so than the rest. He was Peregrine Falcon. He was a beautiful bird, all right, but he was not white. Time and again, in the beauty contests, he was runner-up to Polar Bear. If it were not for her, he raged to himself, I should be first every time. He thought and thought for a plan to get rid of her. How? 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 At last, he had it. One day, he went up to Polar Bear. Now, Peregrine Falcon had been to every country in the world. He was a great traveler, as all the creatures well knew. I know a country," he said to Polar Bear, "which is so clean it is even whiter than you are. Yes, yes, I know you are beautifully white, but this country is even whiter." 
the rocks are clean glass, and the earth is frozen ice cream. There is no dirt there, no dust, no mud. You would become whiter than ever in that country, and no one lives there. You could be queen of it. Polar Bear tried to hide her excitement. I could be queen of it, you say? This country sounds made for me. No crowds, no dirt, and the rocks, you say, are glass? The rocks, said Peregrine Falcon, are mirrors. Wonderful, cried Polar Bear. And the rain, he said, is white face powder. <gasps> Better than ever, she cried. How quickly can I be there, away from all these staring crowds and all this dirt? I am going to another country, she told the other animals. It is too dirty here to live. Peregrine Falcon hired Whale to carry his passenger. He sat on Whale's forehead, calling out the directions. Polar Bear sat on the shoulder, gazing at the sea. The seals, who had begged to go with her, sat on the tail. After some days, they came to the North Pole, where it is all snow and ice. Here you are, cried Peregrine Falcon. Everything just as I said. No crowds, no dirt, nothing but beautiful, clean whiteness. And the rocks actually are mirrors, cried Polar Bear, and she ran to the nearest iceberg to repair her beauty after the long trip. Every day now, she sat on one iceberg or another, making herself beautiful in the mirror of the ice. Always near her sat the seals. Her fur became whiter and whiter in this new clean country. And as it became whiter, the seals praised her beauty more and more. When she herself saw the improvement in her look, she said, I shall never go back to that dirty old country again. And there she is still, with all her admirers around her. Peregrine Falcon flew back to the other creatures and told them that Polar Bear had gone forever. They were all glad and set about making themselves beautiful at once. Every single one was saying to himself, Now that Polar Bear is out of the way, Perhaps I shall have a chance of the prize at the beauty contest. And Peregrine Falcon was saying to himself, Surely, now, I am the most beautiful of all creatures. But the first contest was won by Little Brown Mouse for her pink feet. <laughs> mm -hmm.